Tobi versus Yaya Bello. Who will you vote for if they pick tickets of different parties in 2023? Welcome to the news. Please subscribe to our channel. Ahead of a 2023 presidential race, influential politicians who have ambition to succeed President Muhammad Buhari are making consultation to secure the support of their party chieftains to win the tickets of their parties. Few political players have already declared their ambition to contest for the presidential race. On the platform of the ruling APC, Kogi State Governor Alhaji Yaya Bello has already declared his ambition officially to contest for the presidential election. On the platform of a main opposition party, PDP, former Anavara State Governor P. Toby has been tipped to emerge as the presidential candidate of a party. This article is aimed at seeking opinions of Nigerians on who they will vote if Governor Yaya Bell of Kogi State and former Anambra State Governor Pito B. pick the tickets of their political parties. Number 1. Yaya Bello. Yaya Bello is the youngest governor in Nigeria who carved the niche for himself. When he became the first executive governor of Ogi, Kogi State at the age of 40 years in 2016, Bello considered this age as a plus for him in the race for 2023 presidential election because of the ongoing agitation for younger generation to take over the affairs of the country. Bello's performance on the area of security, which earned him an award in 2017, is also another thing that the Okanebon politicians believed will earn them the support of Nigerians to rule the country in 2023. Yaya Bello is also relying on the fact that the North Central Geopolitical Zone, where he hails from, has not produced a president and vice president of Nigeria since the return of democracy in 1999. Bello Mojo's challenge is the northern region where he hails. There have been agitations for power shift to the southern region after the eight years tenure of the president, Muhammad, ba Muhammad Buhari, who hails from Kastina in northern Nigeria. 2. Pito B. Pito B is yet to declare his intention to contest for the presidential election. He has been heavily leaked to the 2023 presidency because of his influence in the People Democratic Party, PDP, and the South East. The influential politician was the running mate to Atiku Abubakar of PDP in 2019 presidential election. Many Nigerians believed Obi has a brighter chance if he declares his intention for presidency because of his antecedent when he was an state governor and the agitation for South East presidency in 2023. The Ewos have not produced the president of a country since the return of democracy in 1999. This might help Obi if he eventually declares for presidential race. Peter Obi's major challenge is the decision of PDP, People Democratic Party, to throw its presidential ticket open for all aspirants to contest. This may make it dif difficult for him to secure the ticket of PDP because of a number of delegates from Northern Nigeria. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to say this. If you see what's in my hide, you see for here. Eh? Oh, if you see what's in people, they tell me for here. You will laugh, Taya. Back to the news. So, fellow Nigerians, they said it is an, you know, it is an article that is open for discussion. <laughs> it is open for discussion. What will your answer be? Peter B for president or Yaya Bello for president? Choose your candidate. Who do you choose? Now, going from what you have been hearing, we've heard a lot of things concerning both of them both of them have had people criticize them various times for what they did you know now currently to 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 you know yaya bello now his own is how am i going you can't go far because he's still sitting as the governor of kogi state you don't need to go far you just need to go and gather the good um, Kogi people. Not online, no. Kogi people. Gather them and tell them, ah, 
Uncle, auntie, how is it going? Please, how do you say this your your governor? Is he doing well? People that are neutral, not people you go and bribe. No, just go to various, various, you get the answer you have. I mean, you want to get. You get pure answers. People who, you know, that as they, how am I going to make it now, the grassroots level? Who he's supposed to touch? Yes. You come out and you question them. How has it been? Is, has the, how's the journey been so far? Has he been the person you wanted him to be? Of course, he's not going to have touched all the areas, but can you score him? Did he get an average? Did he get above average? Did he get below average? Then you go round the same thing in the southeast region. Or, of course, Peter B is no longer, you know, it's been a long time now when he was, you know, formerly the governor of Anambra State. Or you go around, yes, and ask people, you know, ask them, Peter B, I mean, that name is very familiar with Nigerians. So you ask them, Peter B for president, how do you think he's going to do when he was the governor of Anambra State? How did he fare? Because this is, uh, these are what you are going to use. First of all, you go to the Kogi people, ask them. Then you come to fellow Nigerians and Anambra people and you ask them. How did this person fare? Will you score him below average, above average or average? Yes. And then you look at these people, you, you, you bring them together or you don't bring them together. You go and ask this person now. Yeah, I believe. Okay. You have known that, you know, there have been so much clamor for the southern presidents to come. I mean, the president should come from the south because the south people are feeling marginalized. What is your take on this? What is your take? You ask this one too. What is your take? Take. Then you go back and ask you, okay, you know the problems of Nigeria now. How, what, what, what are your plans for Nigeria? You don't even need to ask them what will you do about the problem. What are your plans? Let's see what they are going to say. Their answer will vindicate them. Let's see who will come and say this and this and this are the strategies. And you know, people that when they are speaking, you're going to see how the person has planned to put Nigeria. Not, I will do this. I will do it. No, 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 no. That one is too ordinary. How are you going to do it? If it happens that you really, really give out funds and people that are under you are making it look like you're not doing the work, what will you do? How are you going to rectify such questions? And when they give their answer, eh, from what they say, you can also, live. and of course, how they are being portrayed in the various states. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.